Hello, this is Scott from Astro Northwet, and I finally got a picture. Um, this is my uh, my last minute three in the morning shot with my guiding de dead, and uh, just kind of watching this the sun and the moon come up at the same time. But you know, I'm pretty happy with it. It's uh, it's my second actual astro photo and the first nebula. And uh, the first one with actual color in it, so um, it's not actually all blown out in here in white. It on the on the screen and in, in on a real picture, it, it's actually kind of turquoise. So uh, there it is, the result of all my efforts, ten thousand dollar picture, <laughs> or something like that. I don't know how much money I've spent on this stuff, but you know, I mean, you can imagine. And computers and software and everything else it's it's an expensive hobby but um, it uh, it doesn't look too bad I learned how to uh, mask in Photoshop and uh, you know kind of manipulate various pieces of the uh, the picture independently and this is by no means a you know any kind of expert job or anything i was just kind of hurrying up and trying to get something that i could look at and you know learn from and and all that so i mean there's there's a lot of uh a lot of improvement to be had for sure but uh you know it's there it's on the screen i took it so what can i say you know Everybody starts somewhere. <laughs> uh, so tomorrow I'm going to tear the big guy apart, take it down and um, put a pier on this stand to raise it up about, you know, that much higher because I'm tired of uh, crawling around on my knees and laying on my back to try to, you know, look through the finder and and uh, so I've been using my son for that. He comes out and does all the squatting down and bending over for me so I don't have to do it. But uh, he's not going to be there every time. So I need to get this thing up in the air and, uh, you know, somewhere where I can actually get to it. And I noticed that uh, my legs, my tripod legs have slipped back back up and my, my camera was banging on the... the legs here as I was taking my flats and my uh, bias frames inside today. Well, that's the other thing. I got my little, uh, my little, uh, what would you call it? A tracer, artist tracing pad. And, uh, you know, it's in this box right here. I'm not going to get it out, but it's, you know, it's just like a little illuminated pad that you can draw on, you know, for tracing. But I just stuck it on the top here and under a t-shirt and uh, took my bias frames and, you know, I guess it turned out pretty good. Um, see, what else? Yeah, so anyway, I got to get those legs back down where they belong and, and uh, get this tripod straightened out. It's, it's, uh, it needs to be, you know, everything that needs to be unloaded off of it. And so I'll, I'll just take the mount in the telescope off and get it, uh, get that pier on there, the pier extension on there and get it raised up. I don't know how I'm going to get it out the door. I'll probably have to lay it over on its side and do all kinds of gyrations to get it out the door. I eventually want to put a, a, a double opening door on here so it's plenty wide. And then I'll probably take my, my desk and stick it over against this wall so I can get through there easier. But uh, okay, that's all I've got. Oh yeah, and here's my little computer. This is the guy that uh, took all the pictures. It it did a really good job. Um, I'm really happy with how, how it's working. So, uh, highly recommend it uh, for, you know, people that don't want to be out there and sit in the cold. It actually worked really well. Okay, that's about it. I will, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. It's getting late. Got to go to work tomorrow. And, uh, there it is one last time. My very first nebula. All right.
thanks for watching give me a thumbs up if you uh, liked it and subscribe and uh, you can watch my progress as I as I improve and learn more about this whole thing this whole hobby of astrophotography all right talk to you later